Before we delve into the groundbreaking announcement, it's crucial to first understand what particle accelerators are and why they hold such immense significance. At the forefront stands the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, managed by CERN. Spanning a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets, the LHC is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It represents the zenith of human scientific achievement, a technological marvel capable of recreating the very conditions present during the birth of our universe. But as we marvel at its capabilities, one must ask, could this tool, designed to unravel the secrets of the cosmos, also harbor the potential for something far more ominous? CERN, founded in 1954, is one of the world's most prestigious scientific research institutions. With 23 member states and thousands of collaborating scientists, it serves as a global hub for innovation and discovery. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it's only one component of a vast ecosystem of accelerators and experiments. Picture a racetrack, not for cars or horses, but for subatomic particles, where these particles are propelled at nearly the speed of light in a relentless chase through time and space. The LHC launches protons into circular motion, guiding them to collide head-on at four key points along its vast ring. These collisions simulate the high-energy environment of the Big Bang, producing temperatures more than a million times hotter than the sun's core. The machinery behind this is as intricate as it is powerful. Thousands of magnets steer the particles, while state-of-the-art cooling systems maintain operational temperatures colder than deep space. At the heart of these high-energy collisions lie four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a unique role, acting as enormous cameras that capture the subatomic aftermath of proton collisions. These detectors enable scientists to sift through debris, uncovering fundamental particles like the elusive Higgs boson, commonly referred to as the God particle, and unlocking phenomena that provide clues about the very building blocks of the universe. By examining the microcosm, we glean insights into the macrocosm. Yet, every discovery comes with new questions, and each breakthrough invites fresh challenges. The LHC is more than a scientific tool. It's a monument to human curiosity, an emblem of our quest to understand the forces that govern all existence. However, as we push the limits of knowledge, we must also confront ethical and existential questions. What are the dangers of probing the unknown? Could our thirst for discovery inadvertently awaken forces beyond our control? Within the revered halls of CERN, where the frontiers of human knowledge are continually tested, a recent revelation has sent tremors through the scientific community. Brian Cox, a former CERN researcher and prominent voice in particle physics, made an announcement that captivated the world's attention. His words echoed with chilling clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a mini Big Bang. Yes, a miniature version of the very explosion that brought our universe into existence. Cox elaborated on the incredible implications of this pursuit, emphasizing the LHC's potential to unveil the secrets of dark matter and deepen our understanding of the Higgs boson. Imagine wielding the power of creation, the ability to reproduce the conditions that forged the universe itself. It's a concept both awe-inspiring and fraught with peril. The mini Big Bang is no longer a distant theory, it is a tangible reality created within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressure, the immense energy, all meticulously designed to mimic the universe's first moments. Yet, with such power comes immense responsibility. What happens if something goes wrong? History has already given us a sobering reminder. In 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bogorsky suffered an extraordinary accident at the U-70 synchrotron in Protvino. Due to a malfunction, Bogorsky's head was accidentally exposed to a beam of high-energy protons. The beam entered the back of his skull and exited through his nose, an encounter with a force so intense that he reported seeing a flash brighter than a thousand suns, but remarkably felt no pain. Though the beam destroyed tissue and bone, Bogorsky survived, albeit with partial facial paralysis and hearing loss. Astonishingly, his cognitive abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific work. 
This bizarre event is not just a personal tale of survival but a stark illustration of the sheer power particle accelerators can unleash. It reminds us that even the most controlled environments are not immune to accidents, and the stakes are higher than ever with a machine as powerful as the LHC. Among the most dramatic concerns about the LHC is the possibility of creating microscopic black holes. Black holes, regions of spacetime so dense that not even light can escape, are normally found in deep space, devouring stars and warping reality itself. The idea that such a force could be created on Earth, even on a tiny scale, is deeply unsettling. Could such a black hole grow uncontrollably, consuming the planet from within? CERN has repeatedly assured the public that any black hole formed in the LHC would be unstable and evaporate almost instantly. These reassurances are grounded in Stephen Hawking's theory of Hawking radiation, which posits that black holes emit particles and lose mass over time. Still, the possibility, however remote, has sparked fear, speculation, and a renewed appreciation for the delicate balance we navigate in the pursuit of knowledge. The mechanics behind this hypothetical black hole creation lie in the intense energy produced during particle collisions. When protons smash together at near light speeds, the resulting energy distorts spacetime itself. Imagine a stretched trampoline. If you drop a heavy object onto it, the fabric bends inward. If the object is massive enough, it could create a depression so deep that everything nearby falls into it. This metaphor captures, in simple terms, how a black hole might form in the LHC. Further complicating matters is the tantalizing notion of hidden dimensions. Some physicists theorize that extra dimensions exist beyond the four we perceive. If true, the LHC's energy could access these dimensions, forming a gravitational funnel that produces a black hole. It's a mesmerizing yet unsettling dance of particles and probabilities. The late Stephen Hawking warned of another scenario, one even more terrifying. He speculated that the Higgs boson might become unstable at very high energies, potentially triggering a catastrophic vacuum decay. This event would tear through the fabric of space, annihilating all matter and resetting the laws of physics. British astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees echoed these concerns in his writings on humanity's future. He contemplated a worst-case scenario in which a misguided experiment could initiate a chain reaction, possibly ending life as we know it. While he conceded the probability was extremely small, he argued that even such slim risks demand serious attention. CERN scientists have taken these concerns seriously. They've run extensive simulations, peer-reviewed their theories, and implemented rigorous safety protocols. Brian Cox himself acknowledged the need for ethical responsibility and scientific caution. He emphasized that the LHC's energy levels, while extreme, are not unprecedented. Cosmic rays, high-energy particles from space, strike Earth's atmosphere with similar intensity all the time, without causing catastrophic effects. If a black hole were created, Cox explained, it would disintegrate instantaneously due to Hawking radiation. It would be over in less than a blink, an ephemeral marvel of physics, then gone. Yet the mystery doesn't end there. Some theorists propose that the LHC could open a gateway to parallel universes or alternate dimensions. Though these claims are largely speculative and not widely accepted in mainstream science, they've captivated the imagination of millions. Could CERN accidentally open a portal to another reality? Or worse, to a realm beyond human comprehension? While some dismiss this as science fiction, others point to string theory, a framework suggesting the existence of hidden spatial dimensions that might be accessed under extreme conditions like those in the LHC. In popular media, these notions have spun into even more dramatic interpretations, including wild theories about portals to hell and doomsday scenarios. While largely unfounded, they reveal a fundamental truth. As science advances, so too does public anxiety. Our expanding understanding often strays into territories once reserved for myth and legend. What lies beyond the veil of known reality? Could we truly unleash forces we're unprepared to confront? Could we redefine humanity's place in the cosmos, or inadvertently erase it? Whether we are investigating micro-black holes, the nature of dark matter, or potential gateways to unknown dimensions, 
The research being conducted at CERN stands to fundamentally reshape our understanding of the universe. But as our questions evolve from can we do this to should we, we enter new moral and existential territory. We now stand at the edge of an unparalleled era, one of monumental discovery or unimaginable peril. The destiny of our species, and perhaps the universe itself, may depend on how we choose to wield the cosmic power now within our grasp.